Hello again, welcome back everyone. Liquor Hound here with you. Thank you for joining me once again for another spirit review video. And today we'll be taking a look at the latest release from Four Roses. This is the Small Batch Select. Now the Small Batch Select differs from the standard Small Batch, not in its bottle shape because this is the exact same bottle. Uh, but it differs in that it gets a bump in proof all the way up to 104 proof. It is unchill filtered, so they're leaving in all those fatty acids and oils that are going to add to the viscosity, add to the flavor. To whereas the standard small batch chill filters all that out so that you can add water and ice it's never going to cloud up uh, but you know we're here for the flavor right all right now then uh, thanks to note on this one this did not come to my area so distribution's kind of limited right now a matter of fact I, in texas it only came to houston and austin and i'm in the north texas area so i had to make a special trip down just to pick this bottle up to review now, in that sense, I have to thank my Patreon supporters uh, for helping me be able to do that uh, because it is with their support every month that I'm able to fund videos and continue doing videos not only on Patreon that I do about once a week there, but also on YouTube uh, because, again, this is my career now. So feel free to join me over at patreon.com slash liquorhound and become a supporter. All right. Now, Four Roses Select. What do we know about... Uh, its age. Well, we know it's about six to seven years old because on the inside of this little neck tag it tells you that. Again, uh, it uses six of the ten yeast strains. Uh, the, you know, of course, they use low rye and they use high rye mash bills. Uh, the high rye is going to be the 60% corn, 35% rye, and the 5% barley. The low rye is the 75% corn, 20% rye, and the 5% barley. So this one uses three of the f five yeast strains. I got to get all this right. Uh, the OBSV, the delicate fruitiness, the OBSK, that is the slightly spicy yeast, and the OBSF is the herbal yeast. And then the second designator changes E to go to the low rye. That is going to be the OESV, uh, that's again, same yeast strain, delicate fruity, OESK, the slightly spicy, and the OESF, that herbal essence. All right. All right, now, let's go ahead and get to the important part, right? Is it any good? That's the question. Okay, so this bottle has been opened about, I'd say, just uh, maybe about five, four or five days now. Been sharing it with friends, and um, everybody seems to really enjoy it. I will say that. On the nose, it's very big. Again, always take in through your mouth and your nose at the same time, especially when they start getting high ABV. But orange oils in here is, uh, there's also cherry, dried fruits, brown sugar and caramel, clove and a little cinnamon. It is a little bit of a... What is that? There's a little mint in there. There's a little mint popping in there. Along with some pretty good oak, but it's balanced. I even get a little barrel char on the nose. But it is pretty fruity, I will say that. It's lots of red fruits. And even a combination of red and dried fruits, I would almost say. Because there's almost a little bit of that... Yeah, it's almost like dried fruit mixed in. Really nice on the nose. All right, let's go ahead and taste it and see what that uh, has done to all this. Wow. Boom, it's still going. Pretty big viscosity. Um, wow, here comes the flavor. Wasn't expecting that. Medium... Just above medium on the viscosity. As it enters, you get that big brown sugar. Here comes a little caramel sweetness to it. Lots of red berries dropping in, all mixed fruit together. A little bit of cherry on top. Orange oils mixed in. Clove and cinnamon just warming things up on the mid palate. Mm. Then it kind of transitions and you get a little bit of a, um, on this one you're actually getting, what is that, tobacco? Which 
checking it. No, it's leather. Yeah, it's leather that starts dropping in. Right as soon as you start getting to that mid palette, you'll start noticing the leather and the oak coming in and uh, dark chocolate as well. But I do like the, the, the dried fruit that are kind of showing up up front, but they kind of get dominated by the fresh berries up front, and then they kind of linger as dried fruit on the back end. Wow, yeah. Pretty solid little bourbon for $55. This is actually a pretty nice little buy. Yeah, and oxidation seems to be doing a lot of, of good because when I first cracked it, it's a little bright. Um, and it's no different than if you just let it sit in your glass, right? If you sit a you know, bourbon in your glass for a while, it's going to change. It's going to soften up a little bit. Sometimes they'll die on you, so you got to be careful. Uh, and the same thing happens in the bottle. Um, with the oxidation, they'll tend to either soften up, uh, usually get a little better if they're a little too spicy. Uh, but if they're really solid right away, be careful because sometimes they'll fall off. Here's a little insider tip. Old Forester 1910, that bottle, uh, Old Fine Whiskey, which I reviewed before, Really love that whiskey. Uh, the one thing I will say about it is that it will die. It kind of peaks and then it kind of falls. Um, so to me, when you first crack, it's a little hot. And then it actually gets better after a few, I'd say about three weeks to month, two months, somewhere in there. It gets really good. And then you'll start noticing it start to decline and it's going to start to lose those fruits. Uh, so usually now I know when it starts to peak, I'll start gassing it, try to protect that bottle. Uh, but in this one, right now, after being open four or five days, it's getting really good. Hopefully it'll hang in there. Mm -hmm. But the viscosity is really nice uh, for a $55 bottle. Good Four Roses flavor characteristic. You know, you get that little bit of that citrus, that little citrus oil. And then you get lots of red fruit. You get just the right amount of caramel and brown sugar. You get that clove. You get that cinnamon. No grape. And that's the one thing that sometimes will pop out in uh, some Four Roses. They're not getting that here at all. But overall, very, very solid release from Four Roses. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you're at Patreon, thank you all again, once again. Uh, if you're my YouTube viewers, thank you for being here. You've always been here from the very beginning. But I hope you can join me over at Patreon and become a supporter. Thank you all for watching. Keep leaving all those great comments. Everybody have a great day and cheers.